Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. Time for another bargain beer review. But before we get cracking on the beer, two more nice mysteries for you. Will the feet mystery of the Satish Sea ever be revealed? And how come, no matter what happens on a given day, it always fits perfectly into a newspaper? Anyway, up today we go to the brewing capital of the UK, that's Burton on Trent, from the Tower Brewery. It's an Imperial IPA, tips of scales at. 5% ABV, now this set me back £1.25 English pence from supermarket chain um, Aldi. Now Imperial IPA, it's Imperial I believe more by the name as opposed to the strength if that makes sense. We've got a plain um, goldy cap and we've got like a Knights Templar neckerchief to get popped and pulled to see what you like. Bit of hiss, a little bit of camera smoke, now we've got a nucleated glass for this. Now as a reminder, to be a bargain beer on my show, you've got to cost £1.25 English pence for a 500ml bottle. You can be a bigger bottle, you can be a smaller bottle, but pro rata ratioed, 500ml equivalent of £1.25. That's how you get to be a bargain beer on my show. Right, that pours a sort of a slightly, somewhere between a orange... Orange strawberry colour. You probably won't find that on a colour chart in your local DIY store. Two and a bit finger head. Not bad carbonation. Nucleated glass does help. Let's go for a bit of a sniff on the aroma and see what we get. Malty. Maybe a bit honey. A bit grassy. And a bit floral. But a faint bit of lemon. Not, that's my pronunciation, not bitter lemon, a bit of lemon. Well, that's what I get. Let's go for a taste of it, which is like. Cheers, everyone. Um, quite dry. A bit sort of torty tarty. Um, Taste how it smells, to be honest. Now, not necessarily an IPA style of beer in my particular uh, book. Um, perhaps more of like a golden pale ale type uh, type scenario. I do get more lemon now as it's coming down. Now, this was at the fridge about an hour ago. So I've given it every chance to improve. Because I did something else from this brewery a while back which didn't um, set my boat uh, uh, a float. It's like artwork. Oh, it's like an old style postage stamp. Um, not overly bitter, not overly sweet. It's just somewhere down the middle. It's uh, it's not the best beer I've ever had. It's it's not one of the worst I've ever had. But it's uh, it's one of those that you might forget that you've had it. Um, um, so carbonation is good. Colour's good. Good bit of head retention, but I think the the glass and the aggressive pour really, really helped on that. Right, summing up, very unoffensive. Um, so you might not necessarily rush out to buy it again, but it's one of those you can say, "Oh yeah, I've tried one of them." There's a tick in the box. Um, again. So not an IPA in my book, more of a pale ale, blonde type beer. But yeah, that was okay. Um, thirsty Thursday score out of 10 for me. I am going to give that a 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you again real soon. Right here, Thirsty Thursday, YouTube, Twitter now as well. And um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Be seeing you. Just as a footnote actually, um, it's warming up a little bit and there is a bit more lemon coming through which is I think it's all down to the hops. I'm thinking it's got some Fuggles and some East Kent Golding in there for good measure and I think that's what gives it that lemon note but very sessionable, quite nice. Thanks for watching again and I'll leave you in peace. Be seeing you.